Hey guys, Kyle here, ClassRoadDespairs.com, and today we're going to be going over our new connecting rods. These are made here in America by R&R Connecting Rods. So if you guys are rebuilding your Triumph VSA or Norton motorcycle, and you're curious to know what type of connecting rod that you want to install, before you do that, check out this video, and we're going to go over these connecting rods, hopefully uh, help you out on the next selection of connecting rods for your bike. Let's get to it. All right, so we're gonna go over all the details of the R&R connecting rod, and after that, I'm gonna give you my two cents and opinion of how I feel about connecting rods and which direction you should go, whether with a new set of connecting rods or a used set. So keep watching the video, and we're gonna help you make that decision. All right, so let's cover the details of the new R&R connecting rod. So this is an all aluminum uh, connecting rod made from aircraft material, which is 7,000 uh, series aluminum. Uh, features R&R engraved here on the side. The small end, we have no bushing, which means that the wrist pin will slide directly into the aluminum itself. Uh, with that being said, to accommodate that, the top has a deep chamfer to allow oil to work its way in and lubricate the wrist pin. Another nice feature about this connecting rod is that it's very narrow, which means that your piston will slide over without any type of modifications, which is really nice because a lot of aftermarket connecting rods are wider throughout the entire beam or in the small end area, which prohibits the piston from being installed, which means that you either have to install the piston or the connecting rod. So it's pretty cool that they kept that as is. Uh, down to the bottom end side, big end, we have the inside diameter has been honed, so everything is precision. It's round within a few tenths. If you do take the cap off and accidentally get it flipped around and make a mistake 180 out, you'll notice that there's punch marks there, so that will not happen. So if you look on this side, there's no marks. If you look on this side, both are marked here, so you can't mix that up. ARP rod bolts uh, are installed on all the R&R connecting rods. ARP rod bolts are probably the leading manufacturer and highest quality rod bolts that you can install in your car or even uh, your vintage British motorcycle. Uh, 2000 series is the type of rod bolts that come with it. Um, all connecting rods by R&R are a matched pair, so if you have a twin or a triple, they're all gonna be uh, weighed and matched. And uh, yeah, so that covers all the details for the R&R connecting rods. In the next clip, I am going to go over my opinion and how I feel about new connecting rods or focus on an old set. Let's go over new connecting rods, old connecting rods, what's gonna work for you and my two cents and opinion on how I feel about both. I'm a really big advocate, especially with vintage motorcycles, really any motorcycle or build an engine, it's really important to use the best quality parts. I do understand that there is areas where you can save money on, maybe more on the cosmetics, but when it comes down to components like rod shells, connecting rods, oil pumps, bearings, those are extremely vital to keeping your engine together and lasting a long time. When it comes down to purchasing a new connecting rod or finding a used rod or a used set off of eBay, for example, I really don't recommend it, even if it's for a daily rider. Uh, aluminum rods over over time uh, will start to break down. And I don't wanna say that to scare you, but aluminum does weaken over time. When you're picking up an old set of connecting rods that were pulled out of a motor that you have no idea what the run running condition is, definitely take a really big risk. So I do know that rods are expensive, but just keep that in mind. If you are in the market for a new set of connecting rods, uh, definitely spend the extra money to go with a nice set of new connecting rods. All right, so before we end the video, I want to go quickly over the lineup of R&R products that we're gonna be selling here at Class of Despairs. We have connecting rods for most traditional British motorcycles. So that would be your Triumph unit construction, 650, 750, long rod, short rod, pre-unit, uh, commando, and also Trident models, including the T150 and T160. All the R&R connecting rods that we sell are come in a set. So if you have a triple, it's gonna have a set of three rods. If you have a twin, we're gonna sell them in a set of two. So we're covering up as much as we possibly can to be able to offer you a connecting rod. We do not have rod for single cylinders like the 250, so we are working on that. Uh, that's what we currently have uh, for current pricing and availability because these are all gonna be limited stock. Uh, please check out the website or click on the link below and it'll take you directly to the website and you can clearly see all of our stock and what we currently have on hand. All right, you guys, so that's going to wrap up today's video. I appreciate you guys watching. Just a little side note, like I said before, I'm a very big advocate of using high quality components in your vintage British motorcycle. We are very fortunate that r, &R has put up the money, the tooling, able to make these cool connecting rods. Take advantage of these rods because if they're not going to produce these, then it's another product that we're not going to have on the market for our vintage British motorcycle. Your British motorcycle is an investment and you should treat it that way. So if you guys liked the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down at the bottom. Anyways, I appreciate you guys watching. Hope you guys have a great week.